Well, it's, it's not so much that we encounter problems or obstacles because of data regulation, but mostly because we have decided to uh, make Telefonica a privacy-driven company. And therefore, we take uh, privacy of our customer very seriously. We do implement from scratch solutions in our product that would protect our customer privacy and would allow them control over what they do. So there is definitely a lot of work driven by the need or the willingness to actually have a fair relationship with our customer and then secondarily by compliance with regulation. So Aura is the um, artificial intelligence uh, platform that Telefonic is building to um, manage the relationship with this customer and especially in, in the context of this discussion the way customers are going to be able to manage their privacy settings in a dynamic way. So Aura is going to be able to actually predict the sort of uh, services the customer will want, analyze uh, what is the best way to actually get his consent, interact with him in order to get the right consent for the right services at the right time. I think we have the GDPR now, we are working to uh, comply with this provision. It's already quite demanding in terms of, of compliance and uh, yeah, we do feel that the e-privacy is needed as far as the protection of the circuit of communication because it, we would welcome a single law that uh, covers this principle across the European Union. We think, however, that most of the provision related to the processing of metadata, they are already included in the GDPR and there is no need to duplicate them in the e-privacy.